Ah, what's going on? Like, I need a little. How's everybody doing right now? <laughs> All right. Um, so, though, for those who don't may, may not know me, my name is Delian Duhar. I'm our chairman of the community outreach here at DSA. Um, my position here is to just expose DSA to different um, demographics in different communities. So, um, thank you for uh, Multicultural Music Group for presenting with us. Um, so, yeah, we do, you know, I'm responsible for hosting or creating events like these. So, um, once again, thank you guys for coming along. And, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the show. But uh, before we move on, I'm going to present the next artist. Um, his name is Salman Wise. He's an Afro. Uh, Afro Latin X artist straight out of Bronx, New York. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, tell me why. What's good, y'all? My name is Solomon Wise, aka Solo Wise. Some people call me Max. That's a long story. We'll get into that later. But before we continue, I'm just going to FaceTime my mom real quick because she's never heard me rap in Spanish. So, I just want her to, <laughs> I want to see that real quick. Sobre la de la amiguita no me da ni la visita, sola velaré la prima con mejores grandes ligas y 
canetina en la mira, flor de tienda derechita, flor candela, investiga por novela de lupira, flor papela de camina, flor papela de mi tía, flor mantela de mentira, se decimos en un día. ¿Has visto? Flor rafa, flor una vida, se pone un sentido, se le choca en la esquina, flor se va a quien le cuna que lo que se pasa, y yo con más y me diga, dime a ver cómo ya la mira, la mira, dice, dime a ver la mía, no me mire hacia mí, por un saludo. Mami, te llamo Rito, viste? Ah, yo, we got this one last thing. My mom was in my head that whole time. She was going crazy. She said, she said, yeah, all right. Here we go. This last shit is going to be a quick out of the public thing. I hope y'all like it. It's been a minute, but it's over now. On to get to the niggas who are about to understand this is going to chat all around. If it's going to mess up my stuff, make it put the hands up, cause I am sick and your average, bro. While on this mic with this East Coast flow, big ups to the legend that can't but bone. I'm about to take it over. Who's that? So I joke is me. I'm the feature man, Scott, I'm on stepping in this right by the journey that she got me. That question, my eyes, I can't throw no good belief. A nigga on a drug, but he know I leave him breathless. I'm a part-time girl with a chip on my shoulders They're coming to the kinna of the uptown So leave my weekend and knees like a coffee cross Or a slave back in there while leaving ducking for cover I could've been no job but this moment But I got my name in your mouth I gon' never because I'll blame me Best of all, I'm on me, I follow me I fuck, I need to know I even better Let me bring it back It's always cloudy, never rainy Sun is shining, never shady Are you good? Nigga, maybe Just trying now some new stains Lays to I just like Sadie I might need me Chloe Bailey I said the Lord had me in the daily Living luxury, good living saves. I'm never running back on some 8-bit. Y'all been at it all down some 8-day. They really thought some chains gonna change me. Come up here, man, I ain't no baby. Know that I might be king of the high beats. King of New York and the king of the cultures. Taking my finger, that dirt on my shoulder. You know what time it is, motherfucker. Prime time, boy, I'm the best with a mother. Gonna lean the back and know the runs and never ever step. Uptown shit straight, but I'm to rock out my motherfucking savage. Mr. Bombastic, gonna be fantastic. Know everybody dirty, man, and I'm in classic, classy blow. Don't you know? Never heard a shit from run to fucking cold. Put his ice on the flow, got the frogs on the flow. Man, inside it ain't go. And I break down the door like I got some more. Ain't a joke, I'm a pro, I'm a king. What's the throne, man? I'm too fucking cold. Thank y'all. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our guest performer, Jacet Tejeda, Dominican guitarist, vocalist, composer, and producer. Jacet Tejeda gives traditional folkloric music a new spin with jazz, rock, and Caribbean rhythms in what Billboard has called a frenzied collaboration or celebration of ancestral union. His work preserves and celebrates Afro-Dominican roots music Desert has released two commercial albums that have won plenty awards. I have been following his music for years now and nothing fills me with more pride than to welcome me to this welcome him to this ballroom, to the Dominican Students Association family and to the Multicultural Music Group. Así que con ustedes, Jacet Tejeda. Hello. Desde ahora les digo si dejen la timidez, si o escuchan algo y quieren bailar, if you hear something and you want to dance, there's plenty of space here. Déjame como el micrófono un poquito. Eso, 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 eso. We're gonna take a journey to the Dominican Republic and the traditions, and we're gonna go over uh, different rhythms, original songs, as well as traditional music from Dominican Republic. Uno que otro merenguito, un bolerito y una bachatica. So we're gonna start with a tradition that I think is one of the oldest traditions, let's say. 300 years. And this is called Congo, Congo de Villamella. Oh, my God. 
This is one of them, Palo Mayor, talking about the drum, the Palo Mayor. So that's a little bit of Congo de Villamella. And it's around funerary events, too, when somebody from the brotherhood died, they play Congo. And me and Jonathan Troncoso, the percussion player, we get up to Jonathan Troncoso. We want to know to Mata de los Indios in Villamella to study these traditions that we're going to play today. The Afro-Dominican traditions, the Dominican roots tradition. Because besides merengue and bachata, we have a lot of other rhythms and type of music and type of dance and beautiful, beautiful way to celebrate culture and life. And this is Congo de Villamella. And that's how it went traditionally. So si lo bajamos un chin de tempo, esa clave que hace así, es la canoita. Se usa la maraca también. So to compose my music, I use the traditional music from the Dominican Republic, the roots music. And with Congo de Villamella, we decided to, instead of doing super fast, we kind of take it a little bit down, slower. Y ahí salió una canción de mi disco, Quijombo, que se titula Amor Arayana. That's with the influence of Congo de Villamella. And it's about an impossible love between borders. Specifically, the border from the Dominican Republic.
arms when they are mixed. Dominican and Asian parents, they call it Arayana. To the Arayana community as well, they call it to the people that live in the border between the Dominican Republic and Haiti. When that culture is fused, so the people that live around there, they are called Arayanos. So this is Arayano love, Amor Arayano. And at the end of that song, we say, Your set 
There were something called safras, where the communities that have sugar cane field, con los cañaverales o batelles. In the safra time, they used to bring people from Haiti and also from uh, St. Kitts, Navits from the islands as well. And we adopted in all the places in the island, some of the rhythms and cultures that I'm gonna talk, some of them are national in the whole island, and some of them are regional, like El Congo de Villa Media is regional, only happening in Villa Media for that surrounding. But El Gaga happened like in the whole island in all the places that had batelles, that had sugar cane field. And there's a rhythm that is really rich that in a culture that we adopted from Haiti called Gaga. And this is our original song with that rhythm, and this is called La Culebra. It is a thing.
De eso está el col salve. Y se toca con panderos. Y si quieren aplaudir la clave, how are you? How are you? How are you? Así que dice, y esta vez dice así. Hay dolores.
So there's another style that is for me the national style, and it's obviously all over the island. And it's called palos o atabales. Palos. And palos sometimes is called the style of music, o atabales, and sometimes it's called the percussion. Traeme so palo, tocame so palo. So the reason why they call it palo is because most of the drums that we have in these uh, regions like Villamella, like I said, was uh, mentioning earlier, down in the south in Banin, most of the drums are like this, one solid piece of wood. So the reason, palo, wood. So once they clean it out, that's what they started calling it palo, but some people call it atabales. Some people call it Cañutos in, in Villamella, so you... Quijombo. Depend, Quijombo. It depends where you are. What part of the island you are. For, for me, this is the tradition that you can find all over the, the island. You have different types of palos. Palos del Este, palos from the East, palos de San Juan. And each of those type of palos, depending where you are on the island, it plays different. For example, in the East, it's played with two palos and a bunch of guiras. And regularly, it's played with three palos. That's the most guira. common that you're going to find is three all over the island. In the East, and another thing that I like to clarify, and I like to tell a lot of people when I'm doing workshops like this, let's not get confused that all the palo styles are religion-based. When you play in the East, for me, the times that I've been to the East, it's a festivity, a celebration. Like it could be a birthday, it could be somebody's death, it could be, but at the end of the day, we're gonna be dancing, we're gonna be singing. If it's not, if it's something religious, you're still gonna be doing the same thing, but certain things change. But what I'd like to clarify, and I wanna continue sending this message to people, is that just because you hear palos, it's not just religiously based on what you, the conception that a lot of people have in the island, relating it with Buru, where actually the word Buru means the spirituality. And a lot of people have that also misconstrued in the island. But I like to leave you with a little bit of the knowledge. So when you hear palos, it all depends where you are, what's, what's the setting for the palo. So that's a little bit of tiny information that I could come up with. Yes. And actually, a function of what we are, when you go to a palo celebration, a palo party, you see people cooking for everybody, you have coffee for everybody, there's a lot of drinks, there's a lot of dancing, and there's a lot of celebration of the culture. And this is a traditional palo that we do that goes like this. ¿Qué le pasa a mi morena? Ay, yo no sé. Mi morena se me fue.
And that's how Palo traditionally sound. So an original song that I wrote with Roots. And it's about embracing our roots, our Afro-Dominican roots, our, our African heritage and the mix that we have with the Spanish, with the Taino, with the African, and the beautiful mix that we make, and the beautiful mix that our culture make with the celebrations, with the music, with the dance, with the food. And it's about that, like embracing where we coming from. Because sometimes, even in Dominican Republic, sometimes the Afro-Dominican tradition is denied or marginalized. It's like, no, that's not Dominican, that's Haitian. So I wrote this song like to create conscience too of what our roots are and don't feel afraid to follow your dreams. Don't feel afraid to follow your culture and to show where you are from and who you are as a Dominican in the world. Yes, it's loud. 
great you guys are amazing we have a few more songs so the rhythms that I was talking earlier they're you know developing in the 1600s 1700s you know now we are gonna go back a little bit to the 19 this one this song is from 1936 from Luis Alberti and it's one of the most famous merengues
between those years, the 30s and the 60s, he took it before he, were, he was empowered as a campaign for his campaign. And he wanted, he wanted to pay tribute to that style. When he was empowered, there were a lot of merengue bands, a lot of orchestra. He was being with musicians from Puerto Rico, from Cuba. He did terrible things, but he did some good thing for the merengue and for the music. And um, yeah, he did the first television and radio, uh, La Voz Dominicana, que ahora es Radio Televisión Dominicana. So he promoted the merengue, and there were so many bands of merengue and so different type of merengue. And talking about different type of merengue, this is a style that is called merengue de palo echado, or pri pri. And this is played around La Sabana del Espíritu Santo, which is around Villamella and those surroundings. And it's called Pri Pri. And it's played with this beautiful instrument that is a Dominican instrument called El Valsie. You can stand up if you want to see it. And there's a space here if you want to see it. That's the Valsie, and I call it like, it's kind of the Dominican talking drum. And nobody knows the origin of the Pri Pri. Some people say the Valsie was first than the Tambora. I, I don't know about that. We're still doing research. Okay. We're still doing research, but there's not that many. There's a lot of archives of research, and you guys can go and check more of it, the recordings or the videos, because it's so rich, our culture, that sometimes we even forget that we have so many amazing things. Besides baseball, merengue, and music. <laughs> 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 So this, this next uh, Pri Pri is played with three people like this, with the Valsie, Accordion, and Guida. I'm gonna do the role of the Guida, and he's gonna do the role of the Valsie and the, and the Guida. I'm gonna do the role of the accordion and the guitar. And we're gonna put some bass as an arrangement. This, this song, we have a medley of Merengue de Palo Chao and Pri Pri. And this, the first song is from a Dominican composer that if you don't know it, you have to go search for it and search his music. His name is Luis Diaz. For me, he was like the Dominican Bob Dylan, but Dominican Jimi Hendrix, but with a little bit more edge and with more of the research of the culture. He actually was the first artist that went to research and put it in a band together and make fusions with those styles. And He's one of my biggest inspiration, and I had the honor to play with him and learn from him for two years. Y esto un poquito de pri pri, y dice pri pri.
time for just two more questions. So please, the Q&A is going to be very short. But I really want you inspiration because that's the way in which we continue to what? To honor and preserve our legacy, to honor and preserve uh, Dominican culture, right? So who else inspired you beyond Lydia uh, and Terror? So that everybody here, you know, we can pass that knowledge and you can continue to do your own research and continue to do your own work in, you know, uh, knowing more about who you are, who we are as Dominicans. Thank you for the question. One of uh, my biggest inspiration is Luis Diaz, as you mentioned, Luis Terror Diaz. I also started playing, um, when I started doing gigs in Dominican Republic, I started playing with Xiomara Fortuna. And she's incredible, and that's when I started to learn about some of the rhythms and some of the fusions. And uh, with the musicians that we were playing with her, we also were playing with Tone Vicioso, with his incredible composer from Dominican Republic and researcher. Uh, he has an album in Spotify too, so you can check it out. <clears throat> also, Xiomara Fortuna, Tony Vicioso, Jose Duluc. Duluc, you guys can search from Jose Duluc. Irka Mateo, Magic Mejia, and Marasa. There was a lot of inspiration in the Dominican roots music and also Dominican composers like Billo Frometa, which was like an incredible composer from the 30s, and he left Dominican Republic when Trujillo was in power, and he went to Venezuela, and he created the Villos Caracas Voice, and he has so many incredible boleros and incredible tunes that are amazing. Also, Manuel Sanchez Acosta, which is a Dominican composer, that composed boleros, merengue, and a lot of amazing things. And I keep researching and learning about more com Dominican composers, as well as Dominican composers. Some of my influence are, as you can hear, as electric guitar player, Jimi Hendrix is one of my main influence as well. So yeah, combining all that, it happened this fusion with the Dominican music. So you can go in the back with Carly, Carly, yes, So we have some contacts coming. We have so far two albums that are here on sale for today. And you can find social media, Yacet Tejeda, on Spotify as well. We have two full length album and one EP that is acoustic and a third album that will be coming in May. And the first single is also releasing next week on Tuesday, March 7th. So make sure you write your email in the newsletter, take a contact card, talk to Carly, we have CDs, we're gonna hang a little bit till they kick us out, I guess. And uh, yeah, we are at the Polo Theater Cafe with the whole band, dancers, and everybody. And there's still some tickets available if you want to check it out. You can go to my social media with the cards and follow. <laughs> so this.